Hello Internet, welcome to another tutorial in Digital Electronics. Today I'll discuss Boolean Laws and Theorems. Uh, these theorems are very important to perform certain simplification tasks during the design of logic circuits. Now for two input uh, logic circuits, you'll find some of the basic laws to be holding true in boolean uh, algebra and I'll discuss those laws. The first law is the very basic law which is commutative law. So I'll write down basic laws. The first one is commutative. Now under commutative law if there are two un inputs it does not matter if we give a plus b or we give b plus a it will yield the same output and it does not matter if we give a into b or b into a it will be the same thing and, and moreover uh, if we draw the gate diagram it also does not make any difference because for the first equation it does not matter if we are using an OR gate to get an output by, by giving A on top and B at the bottom or if we are using them like this. So, an equivalent uh, diagram for this equation would be this and this makes more sense it does not matter if A is on the top or B is on the top and similarly for an AND gate it does not matter if A is on the top or B is on the top so these two things are equal and after commutative law we have a second basic law which is known as associative law now this law states that a plus b plus c in parenthesis is equivalent to a plus b in parenthesis plus c or in other words B plus C are given as input to an OR gate and then A is added to them or ORed to them and in the second case A plus B is ORed first and then C is ORed so it does not make any difference and the multiplicative uh, version of the associative law is A and B and C in parentheses then a b in parentheses multiplied by c so for the first equation the the equivalent circuit will look something like this you've got a and then you've got b and c being odd first and then the final thing is a plus b plus c so this is equivalent to if you or a plus b first and then or this output with c so even if you check it using the truth tables it will hold true and similarly the multiplicative version would say <coughs> that if B and C are ended first and then A is ended to them later on that will be equivalent to A and B ended first and then C is ended to them
Now after that we have the distributive law. The distributive law says that A multiplied by B plus C or ended with B or C is equivalent to A and B plus A and C. Now this law is easy to remember because it is identical to ordinary algebra. Uh, its logic equivalence circuit would look something like this. So this is the logic equivalent circuit. If you wish to compare the left hand side and the right hand side of this distributive law which otherwise holds true uh, and is easy to remember because of the identical nature in ordinary algebra you could do that by taking all possible values of A, A, B and C in a truth table and verify both left hand side and right hand side as we, as we do in uh, the formation of truth tables and then we have laws on OR operations simple laws on OR operations uh, this is very famous thing to remember that A plus 0 would give us an A that if a variable is odd with zero it equals the variable uh, it makes perfect sense when a is zero zero plus zero would make a zero when a is one one plus zero would make it a one and another boolean relation in all is that a plus a would give us an a it will also make sense because if a is zero then zero plus zero will give us a zero and if a is one one plus one will give us a one uh, while oring and the third one is when a is odd to 1 it gives me a 1 if a is 0 0 plus 1 will give us a 1 if a is 1 1 plus 1 will also give us a 1 and then we have um, the AND operations So we've got some basic laws formed for AND equations. So which says that A dot 1 is A and A dot A is A and A dot 0 is also 0. Which are pretty easy to um, remember and formulate if A is 1 then 1 and 1 is uh, 1 and if a is 0 then 0 dot 1 is 0 so whatever the value of a is taken here will reflect here and so on and so forth these are super easy to prove and then we have double inversion and de Morgan's theorem The double inversion says that the double bar of A is equivalent to A. And the two de Morgan's theorems are A plus B whole bar is equivalent to A bar dot B bar and A B whole bar is equivalent to A bar plus B bar which are very well verified using the truth table. Uh, method by taking values of a and b all possible values which are 0 1 uh, 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 for both left hand side and right hand side and uh, these are the theorems that you could uh, keep a note of and you could make a summary of all these 
theorems for your uh, for your simplification purposes in designing logic circuits and i hope this quick recapitulation of boolean laws and theorems was of help and you could keep this as a ready reckoner for future calculations and if you liked the video give it a thumbs up consider subscribing to the channel i'll see you in the next video take care bye